What's going on guys? Alright, so just going to do a little update video. Kind of the close up of 2019 here on the Fox. Definitely need to get a wide angle lens for this DSLR. But uh, not a whole lot's been going on with the car the past I guess, two months. Uh, did a little tuning. Pretty much it's dialed in. Just kind of hard to tune on the street with uh, the power it's making. But um, it's running good on the E5 and all. Uh, only big thing I've run into is we blew out a freeze plug on the driver's side here, the very back. Blew it out. Um, it's also copper, so I'm kind of hoping it's just a defective freeze plug. I put an expansion plug in it for right now. But uh, they did. I noticed on the copper it had some sealant on it. But hopefully it's just. It was a bad plug. Uh, the rest of them look good. They don't like to move. They're all nice and seated and everything. But uh, drove a little bit, got in some boost, didn't have any more issues so far. So we will see. Well, time will tell, I should say. So, the next thing I've done to the car is you can see you got the old hood off, it's just sitting here. And got a hood here from Brian from BT Garage. Hooked me up with a stock style hood. Uh, got a coat of primer on right now. Uh, had to do some uh, trimming. Uh, not real too happy with it. I'm not sure the camera's picking it up, but when I cut it out, I used the grinder. It's got a really gritty. I don't know, I just have to describe it. But anyways, it really dug into the hood here. You, know, you can see it now on the camera. You can see where it dug into. Uh, didn't really notice it until I put some primer on it. It really stands out now. So I'm not sure if I want to keep the hood on or not. The car looks pretty good uh, without a hood. So, kind of really throwing it up in the air. Because my whole plan is, um, is just just plastic dip it white and just kind of just rock it from there but I'm not sure really not too impressed on my work right here you can see it's just dug right in and all so something I think about also I got the holes drilled out for the hood pins and the hood really isn't that much heavier than the fiberglass. Probably about another 10 pounds. But 10 pounds is 10 pounds, I guess. Hell, I even thought about just sporting, sporting it with no hood. I don't know. Still thinking about it. So, well, there she is. At the end of 2019, rolling in 2020. Should be fun. Uh, once we get the track opened up here in February, we'll take her down and see what she does on the improvements. And if anyone in Texas, um, I'm going to the Cletus Car Show here in February. So if you want to uh, meet up, whatnot, um, I'm debating if should take the car or not. I'll have to trailer it. Uh, Houston's about six hours from me, seven hours. I'm up here in North Texas, so it's down south of me. Still a six, seven hour drive, maybe a little sooner. Uh, I believe the track's in Baytown, just on the east side of Houston. So I'm going to be heading up that show here in February. So y'all going to go to that show. Hopefully, uh, maybe we can meet up and whatnot and uh, you know, talk Mustang stuff or whatever. But guys, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as I possibly can and uh, get it up, get up on to the YouTubes tonight. And like I said, I uh, want to appreciate everybody that's followed me throughout the years. This car has come a long ways uh, from a stock 5 liter T5, nothing special in it. 
I think I have BBK headers, BBK off-road H pipe, just just simple bolt on stuff. Now we're up to uh, you know 351 status with the big turbo and all. So I appreciate you guys for following me and subscribing and help support the channel and all. But anyways, guys, this is the wrap up for 2019 and uh, I'll see y'all in 2020.